fellowship Delivered from authority of sin I'm a new creation I'm a brand new man Old things are passed away I am born again More than a conqueror That's who I am I'm a new creation I'm a brand new man Everybody now, I have a new creation. I'm a brand new man. It's six o'clock and it's prayer time here in the early morning prayer meeting. A ministry of the New Providence and Real Harvest Seventh day Adventist Church located here in Nassau, Bahamas. Indeed, I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new new man it's a sabbath welcome one and all to a time of prayer this morning i'll just share with you a text then we go straight into prayer and uh, i've asked somebody but i've not seen a response so i'm just going to take a volunteer for the opening prayer this morning and then we'll go right into music and then our devotional by Sister Sherry's role. And after that, we will go into a time of prayer. Um, we have a number of sick individuals in hospital and I believe in a prayer answering God. And we are going to lift up those names in prayer this morning. So, Jeremiah chapter 30, Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 16 and verse 17, verse 16 and verse 17. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversary, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. And all that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thine wounds, saith the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. This is the word of the Lord. Shall we bow our heads in prayer now while a volunteer step up to the plate and proclaim and reach out to God for us this morning? Let's pray. Let us pray. Loving God, how great thou art, how great thou art. Yes. Father, look at you again this morning. You woke us up, clothed us in our right mind, Father God, and you breathe your bread in us, Father, whereby we can come before your presence with thanksgiving and praise, Father. We just come with a heart of humility and joy in our heart, knowing that we have a Father that we can call on at any time. We praise you for your watch keeping during the night hours, oh, Father. Father God, as we come this morning, Father God, we just lift ourselves to you. We say, like the songwriter said, all to Jesus we surrender. Oh, yes. All to you we freely give. Father God, we praise you this morning for your many miracles that you've performed time and time in our lives. Yes. Father God, we praise you for the power and the privilege of prayer. We have seen your hand move in so many ways through the avenue of prayer this morning. But Father mm -hmm. God, we come again calling upon you because you tell us we are to pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. We come relying on your Holy Spirit that lead, guide, and direct us in the parts of your righteousness. Father God, everyone under the song of my voice this morning, Father God, we come seeking a closer walk with you. 
Father God, we ask that you will touch like only you can this morning, mm -hmm. that you will anoint like only you can, oh, Father. Father God, during this week, we had many calls for prayers, Father, of your sons and daughters who are experiencing sickness. But Father God, this morning, we come to the powerful name of Jesus yes, against sir. the sickness. We come against, mm -hmm. oh, Father God, all these diseases that your word said, Father, would not come nigh our dwelling. Lord, we just praise you and we just honor you because we know, oh, Father God, that you are the great healer. Father God. And Father God, we come commending to you this morning, our dear brother, um, Elder. Hallelujah. Ramen. Ramen, Father. Amen. Our dear Elder Moxie. Father mm -hmm. God, you know them by name and you know them by nature. Father mm -hmm. God, there is a new convert who we were told are experiencing challenges, Father God. But this morning, we ask that you will touch like only you can. Mm -hmm. Father God, you said, Father God, in your word, that you wish about all things, mm -hmm. all things that be prosper and be in hell. But Father God, you know, we have done some things to the temple, Lord, Father God, and we, and, and to sin, Father, sickness, uh, uh, um, tampering with some of your people. But Father, mm -hmm. we praise you this morning, and we thank you, oh God, because we know that you said in your word, that soon and very soon, Lord, that there will be no more tears, no more sickness, no more death. Father God, no more challenges. Oh, Lord. Father, we look forward to that day when yeah. we will sit around the banquet table, Father God, where these things will be no more. Oh, no God, more. what a joy. What a hope. Father God, we praise you this morning, Father, for what you will do in this prayer meeting this morning. We come with mm -hmm. great anticipation, oh, Father. Mm -hmm. Father God, we bless you for being the great encourager, for being the great comfort, the great provider, Father. You are our all and all. Lord, continue to encourage the persons who get up morning after morning and head mm -hmm. this, Father God. Yes. Sometimes, too, they grow weak and they grow weary, but Father God, you told us that our strength will be renewed day by day. So, Father, you encourage when need to be encouraged. Father, please provide where you know the need. Provision this morning, Father. And we give you the thanks and we give you the praise for your fresh anointing this day. Thank you for your Sabbath hours. Thank you for the blessing of the Sabbath day. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you so much. Brother Kian, load up the music. While the music is getting ready, I just pray that you will have a prayerful attitude this morning as we come together to pray.
Good morning and happy Sabbath, everyone. Mm -hmm. This morning, our devotional thought will be brought to us by a sweet, sweet, sweet person, our dear sister Sharice Wolf. Pray for in your heart as you come to this place. Amen. Yes, good morning, church family, and happy Sabbath. Good morning. I just invite us to pray, please, before we begin. Let us bow our heads. Loving and eternal Heavenly Father, you have bid us to come while it's yet early to commune with you and be in your presence. And Father, now as we are about to open your word, Holy Spirit, we ask that you speak to our hearts. Yes. Give us of our sins, cleanse us from unrighteousness. And when you shall come, O oh God, we pray that we be saved in your eternal kingdom. For we ask it in Jesus' name, for your sake we do pray. Amen. 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 Our topic today is time to awaken. And our theme text is taken from Romans chapter 13 verses 11 through 12. Um, sorry. I don't want the video on. Just a second, please. I'm just realizing I don't have the... Okay. Yes. Yes, our text is taken from Romans chapter 13, verses 11 through 12, and it reads, Furthermore, knowing the time, now is the moment to awaken from sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Therefore, let us take off the works of darkness 
I put on the armor of light. And this is taken from the modern English version. Many of us can appreciate the benefits of a good night's sleep. In fact, it is suggested that seven to eight hours of sleep is ideal for optimum health and well being. The amazing facts about sleep is that there are five sleep cycles classified as non REM or rapid eye movement and REM. Stages one through four is known as the non REM sleep. Stage one of the sleep cycle is the lightest stage of sleep. Stage two represents deeper sleep. During this stage, the sleeper is less able to be awakened. Stages three and four sleep are progressively deeper stages of sleep. And the last stage five of the cycle or REM sleep is the stage of sleep associated with dreaming. Your dreams are more vivid, your brain may still see, your arms and legs are paralyzed, and REM sleep may also help you solve new problems. As we look at our passage again, Paul tells us, knowing the time, now is the moment to awake from sleep. While sleep has its benefits, as Christians, we cannot spend all or most of our days asleep. Mm. At some point, we must get up and get some things done. So what do we need to be awakened from? One, awaken from sin. We must awaken from the indulgences and pleasures of sin. In Christ, we become new creations. For the old nature is no more. Our palate and appetite changes. We no longer have the desire for or enjoyment of a sinful life. Sometimes we do not want our sleep to be disturbed, for we are in the second cycle of sleep, where it is hard to be awakened. But we must be awakened from the sleep of sin and its perils. James 4, 7 says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Secondly, we need to be awakened from indulgences. We have to take responsibility for, sorry, we have to be awakened from indifference. We have to take responsibility for our salvation. We cannot blame others for our callousness or lack of concern. We have a role to play to ensure we have spiritual health and wellness. There are countless tools available to enrich our war and growth in Christ. Be responsible. Do not play Russian roulette with your salvation. Philippians 2, 12 through 13 says, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but so much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For God is the one working in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. Now that we have awakened from sin and indifference, we must be awakened to dawn. Knowing the time is at hand, daylight is upon us. The sun is on the horizon. We have been in the REM cycle long enough. Do not rely on or trust your feelings. Jesus is on the way. Are we preparing to meet him? Matthew 24, 42 through 44 says, therefore, stay awake for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour that you do not expect. And finally, four, we must be awakened to eternity. 
Eternity is within our reach. Do not allow the sacrifice of Christ on our behalf to be in vain. Christ has gone to prepare a place for us. He is a covenant God and his promises are sure. Keeping life, sorry, living with the expectancy of his soon return, we also now are fully awakened, fully dressed and alert. We have a work to do. We have a responsibility to share the gospel, to tell the story of our salvation, to be the light to a lost and dying world. In Matthew 28, 19 through 20, it says, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you. So my family in Christ, the message is direct. Awaken from sin and indifference and awaken to dawn and eternity. Furthermore, knowing the time is now to be awakened from sleep for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Therefore, let us take off the work of darkness and put on the armor of light. Be blessed this day. Amen. Thank you very much, Sister Sharice. It's time for us to wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up time. And uh, we appreciate that work of waking from sin. Hallelujah. We thank you so much for your words of encouragement and for what you do for the people of God. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be moving now into 20 minutes of intercession. We want as many persons to pray during this time as possible. And these are, we are going to pray for God to intervene in the lives of these individuals. We have Alina McPhee. Sister McPhee is a nurse and she has been ailing for some time. Brother Henry Moxie has been in intensive care in hospital. Uh, Brother Brian Ramin, he, uh, I think he was scheduled to be in hospital at this time, but for some reason I think he is not in as yet, um, but he's supposed to do a surgery, and we're going to pray for divine healing on his behalf. Then remember our elder, elder Audley Ramin, has been is in being in hospital. I think it's he's away um, in hospital and he will be there for some time, but we are praying that God's grace, God divine favor will be shown to him and uh, um, heal his body so he can be back home with his family. Then we have Dudley Elder, Dudley Lightburn is an elder out of Long Island, I think it is, um, in hospital as well. We need to pray for it. And Sister Daphne Smith. Sister Daphne was baptized on Wednesday evening. She was so happy. She was full of joy. And uh, Seemed like the devil did not like that. So she's now in hospital. And we're going to pray for God to move on our behalf. And we have on our prayer list for a long time, Sister Elena Pintard. And we're going to be lifting up her in prayer this morning. So we have a, a, a piece of music that will be played to set the, the pace and then I just want you to 
God has already called those who are supposed to pray. And it means you. So after we have finished this piece of music, I want you to step up to the plate and I want as many of us to get in, call these names before God this morning for the next 20 minutes. Let's have the music and then we go into prayer. Great is my faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with Thee. Thou changest not Thy compassion, they fail not. As Thou hast been, Thou forever will be. Summer and winter, and springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in manifold weakness to thy great faithfulness, mercy and love. Great is thy faithfulness.
Heavenly Father, our creator, our redeemer, our sustainer. Yes. We are so grateful and thankful this morning for life, mm -hmm. for health, for strength. We thank you, O oh God, for this beautiful Sabbath morning. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. We could come, Lord, just to call upon your name. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I ask that you will search every heart here this morning. See if there be any wicked ways in us, Lord. Mm -hmm. I pray, dear God, for your cleansing. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that you will clean us up mm -hmm. as we lift up this, these prayers this morning. We pray, God. Oh, God, we are so grateful that we have a God like you. And, Father, we come this morning knowing that you are the great healer. You mm -hmm. are... God of heaven and hurt. Mm -hmm. You are the creator of everything. You know yeah. all about us, even more than we know about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so, Father, this morning we come in agreement, in faith, on these dear loved ones. You have heard the name, Father, mm -hmm. Brother Audley Ramins. Oh, God the gentleman in the intensive care. Mm -hmm. You could call their name in silence, Bridget, as I pray, and even others that you know of. Mm -hmm. Oh God, my, the sister who just got baptized. Mm -hmm. Oh Father God, I ask Father and many others, Lord, who name hasn't mentioned on this prayer line. It will take the whole day, but God, you know them, you know their homes, you know where they are this moment. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I pray that you will send your word and bring healing this morning, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, Father, we know that you're a God who understands. We know, God, that we hasn't done everything right we know that we are sinful, but God, we thank you this morning for Jesus Christ, the one who came and died for us. Mm -hmm. And so God, this morning, I ask that you will stretch out your mighty healing hands upon these dear loved ones mm -hmm. and bring healing, Father, in the name of Jesus this morning. Mm -hmm. Oh God, and I thank you for what you are doing, Lord, and yes. what you are about to do. Yes. Father, we, we can only call upon you. Mm -hmm. And God, you promise us in your word that if we ask oh, yes. anything according to your will, that it mm -hmm. will be done. So we come with that confidence this morning, mm -hmm. oh God, that when we ask according to your will, mm -hmm. it will be done. So Father, yes. let your will be done this morning. Let your will be done. Lord, sometimes it's not the way we want it, but it's the way oh, you want it to go. Yes. So we said, let your will be done, Father, and we lift them up and we lift up our newly baptized member, members, oh God, that you will touch them. You will bring healing. You will bring restoration. You will bring comfort to these dear loved ones. Oh God, it is not easy just to pull away from the things of the world, but God, we know that you will stand with them. We ask mm -hmm. that you will build up edge of protection around them, that the enemy will not snatch them away. Mm -hmm. We cancel this plan this morning over your people, whatever plan he have, because Father, you told us that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. So lift up a standard against the enemy this morning, Lord. Yes, Lord. And the discouragement he tried to bring on your people, we come against them in the name of Jesus. We come mm -hmm. against discouragement. We come against fear. Oh God, Lord, you did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. God, mm -hmm. help us to rise up and take a rightful stand because you give us power to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. Mm -hmm. So we come in agreement and we stand in faith 
against the enemy this morning mm -hmm. and that no weapon that he have formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We cripple, we cramp and we paralyze his plan this morning. We paralyze his weapon this morning mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. And I thank Amen. you, Father. I thank you for hearing our prayers this morning. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Father God, we come in agreement mm -hmm. with Elder Dawkins, so Father God, on yes. the names that he called. Yes. Father God, I might not remember all the names, Father God, but you hear and answer prayers. Mm -hmm. So Father God, I present to you, Father God, Brother Ramin, oh Father God, Mm -hmm. I present to you, I believe her name is Sister Daphne, oh, Father God, mm -hmm. the young lady who got baptized, oh, Father mm -hmm. God, and Satan trying to steal her joy. But, mm -hmm. Father God, we know that disappointment will step in when we trust in God. But we mm -hmm. know that we are conquerors. We know that we are believers. We know that by your stripes we are healed. So I declare mm -hmm. and I declare, oh, Father God, that Brother Rami and other brothers and sisters who body, it seems to be troubling them right now, the aches and pain. I pray and I declare, Father God, the pain will go away. Oh, Father God, I declare and I declare in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost that no weapon form against your people shall prosper. Oh, Father God, hear and answer this prayer, Father God, because we are your children, oh, Father God, with faith. We can move any mountain that stands in our way. So be healed, my brothers and sisters. Be encouraged. Trust in God, and God will deliver us all. Amen. Amen. Let's keep on praying by the grace of God. Father, Amen. in the name of Jesus, we come before you, dear Lord, first and foremost, asking for forgiveness of all our sins. Father, you said that our best is as filthy rags. So this morning we come before you, Lord, asking you, dear Lord, first and foremost, to be with each of these persons, so oh God, who have been hospitalized. Brother Moxie, God, Brother Ramming, Sister Daphne, Father, and all the others, Brother, the other Brother Brian Ramming. Father, we ask, dear Lord, that as they have taken up the mantle of God to serve you, Father, we ask, O oh God, that you would be with our new convert in a special way. We ask, O oh God, that you would put your hands upon her, O oh God, that you would help her to see. Father, that as she take, has taken on this new journey, the enemy is angry. But Father, help her to know, O oh God, that she can do all things through you who strengthens her. Father, we pray for all of the other persons who are also not well, who are hospitalized this morning. God, we ask, oh Lord, that you would draw them close to you. Father, that you would never let them go. Father, remind them of your promises found in your word, that though they walk through a valley of the shadow of death, they must fear no evil, for you are with them. Father, we just thank you for your promises found in your word. Father, help us, oh God, to pull those promises, to repeat those promises. Father, help them, oh God, to know that your word will never return to you void. Help them to hold on and to know, oh God, that you are still the healing balm. That you promise, oh God, that you will always be with them. Father, this morning, we just bring before you each of us present, oh God, at this prayer meeting. Father, we just ask in the name of Jesus that you do a new thing in all of our lives and all of our hearts. Father, sometimes we may see, look around us and things may seem bleak, God, but when we look up and we see the awesome and the mighty God we serve, Father, help us, oh God, to always look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Help us to always remember that when we are weak, you are, make us strong. Father, and we ask this morning in the name of Jesus that you would cover every home, every family member. God, we ask, oh Lord, that our young people, oh Father, 
you've placed a burden on me for our young people. God, I ask that you would do a new thing in it all of their lives. We pray in a special way for healing of their minds. We pray in a special way for healing, oh God, restoration for all of them. Father, we just praise you, God, that as you heal those who are hospitalized, God, that you will heal those, oh God, who have once served you and have walked away from you. Father, we just thank you and we praise you for all that you are about to do and all that you have done. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Father in heaven, Lord, as children continue to bow God in your hallowed presence, Father, I pray that you would indeed search us and know us. God, if there be any spirit of Achan, God, that would hinder the victory of your children today. God, I pray that you would just expose it, cancel it in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that as we bow in your hallowed presence, God, we might come boldly knowing that you love us, you care for us. God, you are concerned um, about every situation in our lives. And so, God, as we come to lift up those that are sick before you today, God, your church is at the pool of Bethesda, waiting for the troubling of the water. But God, help us to realize we don't have to wait for that water to be troubled because the sympathizing Jesus is near. God, and you are asking us the question this morning, will thou be made whole? God, we want to lift up some of our brethren before you this morning in particular. Father, Elder Audley Ramming, Father, the other brother Ramming, um, the Makfi, the Moxie, God, Sister Daphne Smith, God, Lightburn, Brother Pintard. God, there are other names that can be cited. God, we want to lift them up before you this morning. God, we thank you for life, health, and strength today. Those of us who have come in faith, God, lifting up these brethren. God, I pray that you would do something special in their lives today. Send your word, God. You have said that your word will not return to you void. And so, God, I pray that you would send your word now, even um, to the bedside, to the home, in the hospital, wherever these dear ones might be. God, I pray that you would send your word to them right now. Bring healing. Bring restoration, God. Bring comfort to these dear ones. Father, remember their families who are also stressed because of the difficult situation that they see their loved ones in. God, I pray that you would bring a sense of peace and comfort to them as well. Father, I pray that you would keep us ever mindful of the fact that the greatest healing we need is spiritual healing. God, as we age, as we face the struggles and the temptations and trials of this um, life, God, you have gone to prepare a place for us. Father, you have promised that you will give us new bodies, God, that will be fashioned and likened unto your resurrected body. So, Father, I pray that you would give us hope. Help us to continue to stand on your word, God, to stand on your promises, knowing that whatever we ask in your name, Jesus, you promise to do it. So, God, in faith, we come lifting up these dear ones before you this morning. God, I pray that you remember your church in 
new providence in real harvest in South Bahamas conference and around the world today. God, there are others who are on their knees today um, interceding on behalf of others. But God, we know that we cannot burden you. God, you are able to do abundantly above more than we can ask or think. And so God, we come in faith, believing that you indeed will answer the prayer of your children today. Father, we thank you. We praise you for your love that you have extended to us. I pray that you continue, God, to wrap up, wrap us in your arms of love. Comfort us, O oh God, as that sheep that has gone astray that you have put on your shoulder and bringing back to the fold, O oh God, that there may be rejoicing. And so, God, we thank you. We praise you, Father, for all that you have done and all that you continue to do in our lives. Father, our prayer is that you would get glory from our lives today as we wait before you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let me pray in. Sister Rami. Sister Rami, just wait a minute. Sister Rami, are you still here? Okay. Yes, I hear you, Brother Dawkins. Okay, you want to say something? Yes. <clears throat> we just received a call from the hospital saying that Audley has turned for the voice and they're putting him in ICU right now. Okay, thank you, sister. Sister, sister Mackenzie, can you sing the song, The Great Physician, Now is Near, The Sympathizing Jesus? And I invite Elder Donnie to join me in this prayer. Sister Mackenzie, The Great Physician. Can somebody quickly give me the number, please? Anybody has that number can give to her. Thank you, sister. I believe it's 253, Sister Carrie. Thank you. Two, five, three, no, no. Oh, four. Yes, okay, good. The great physician now is near the simple time seeing Jesus. He speaks the drooping heart to chair or oh, hear the voice of Jesus. All glory to the dying Lamb. I now believe in Jesus. I love the blessed Savior's name. I love the name of Jesus. Sweet is note in Sarah's song. Sweet is name. All mortal town, sweet is carol ever sung. Jesus, blessed Jesus. 
And when he comes to bring the crown, the crown of life and glory, then by his side we will set down, hallelujah, and sing. Redemption story. Oh, hallelujah, sweet in several song. Sweet is all mortal tongue. Sweet is carol ever song. Jesus, blessed Jesus, then by his side we will sit down until redemption's story. We are what a day. What a day. Thank Amen. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father in heaven, we come before you this morning thanking you for your goodness towards each one of us, their Father, and your love towards us. Right now, we uh, focus on the news that we heard regarding our Lord Rami. Their father, he is your child. Oh God, you know him inside out. You know exactly what's happening within his mind. You know what is happening within his body. Oh God, we commit him to you this morning. I pray, O oh God, that you would buoy up his spirit. I pray, dear Father, that he would focus on you, dear Father. I pray, dear Father, you would minister healing unto him, dear Father, from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Dear Father, I pray that you would... Uh, even experience your hope, oh God. I pray, oh God, above all things, dear Father, that uh, he would surrender all unto you. We recognize, oh God, that the greatest thing that you gave to us is that we may have eternal life. And so, God, I pray for your will and your purpose be done in this land. I pray for the doctors and the nurses that may attend unto him, O oh God, that they will give him the best possible care. I pray for his wife and I pray for his family members, O oh God, that you would console them during this time. I pray, O oh God, that they will experience your peace. I pray, dear Father, that even as they uh, visit him at his bedside, I pray, oh God, that they would be in a in a in a in a mode of hopefulness, knowing that there is nothing that is too hard for you, that you can do everything but fail. Oh God, and you can do more than ever has or think about. Oh God, I pray for an oddly Rami this morning. I pray for peace. I pray, oh God, that you, if it be your will, oh God, that you will raise him up from this bed that he is on at this time. Oh, Lord, we know our will. But, oh, God, we pray that your will be done in his life. And, oh, God, 
we continue to give you the honor and the glory their father as your will be done above all save each we pray our father uh, our father our god this morning a family heart is being torn apart somebody that they love somebody that they cherish is in an hospital bed with the news the prognosis from the doctors that his condition is turned for the worse. God, that, that's their assessment. Hallelujah. That's their assessment. But we come this morning to the God of Adli Ramin, who has formed him and has known him before he was knitted together in the womb of his mother. And you have appointed him his time. Only you know what his time is. So on the authority of your words, based on the promises in your Bible, you said that if any sick among you, let them call on the elders of the church. Let them pray over him. Pray in faith on the prayer of faith shall save the sick. It is on that premise that I bow before you this morning, God, that you visit this hospital room and that you anoint your servant and bring about healing to his body this morning. Control this mic for me, please that you bring about healing and restoration for his body. God, I pray for his dear wife, Sister Marjorie, wife of many years who have been through thick and thin. We have heard the emotions in our voice. God be with her this morning. Draw her close to you, God. Put an embrace upon her. Allow her to feel you and to feel your promise to her. Be with the children, Leonardo, Audley, and the other children. God, in this moment of, of grief and despondency, give them hope to believe in your promises this morning. Oh God, cause resurrection power to be in the body of your brother. Healing will flow through every organ, every system of his body. Heal your servant, God, and bring him back home. God, we know that all matters of life are in your hands. So while we pray with authority, we submit to your will. And we pray, God, that you will take control. Show your presence in that room now. We pray the same this morning, oh God, for Henry Moxie. His family are hurting this morning for their provider, their breadwinner, their, their love. We pray, God, that you would touch every sinews of his body. Every cell will respond to your touch this morning, oh God. Remember, Brother Dudley Lightburn, who have served long and faithful to your work. I pray, God, that you would visit him now. His situation may be like he's by the pool of Bethesda, the waiting for the troubling of the water. I pray, God, that you will show him divine favor. Bring a sense of joy and hope to his family 
at this time. Sister Eleanor and Sister Alina has long been in this fight. This morning, God, is their breakthrough. This morning, Father, is their breakthrough. This morning, Father, is their breakthrough point that you will give them the victory. And then, oh God, Sister Daphne, Sister Daphne, has been wrestling and she heard the gospel call and she walked forward and surrender to you. You could see the joy on her face, ready to begin the new journey with you. And she has been infected in an hospital bed this morning. I spoke to her just last night and she had that same hope of getting out of that place and coming to join with the people of God. She had so much hope in worshiping for the first time on a Sabbath this morning. But I pray, Father, that that hope will still burn within our hearts as you reduce our blood pressure, soothe and regularize our heartbeat, and all our other condition, God, I put it in your hands. On this platform is Brother Brian Ramin. True to form, he surrender his heart to you as he has promised. No, God, his hope is on you. His eyes are upon you. Great healer, deliverer, into your hands we place Brother Brian Rami. Massage, whatever organs not functioning, breathe new life into them, Father. You made him, so you are able to renew him. I pray this morning for that renewal in the name of Jesus. God, I have done what you asked me to do, to intercede for your people, to bring their names before you. And in faith, we wait for the victory and the praise report. There's no loss with you. And we claim every promise in the book this morning. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. And amen. Sister Ramin, Brother, Ryan, Brother Brian, I think you're still here. Let's walk in faith. Let's exercise that faith and let's claim on those promises, every one of them that are written in the book and be assured that we are here with you praying and supporting you as you go through this very difficult, difficult time. Let's take a 30 second praise. Can we just praise the Lord where here you are this morning? Can you just praise the Lord where you are this morning? Can you thank God for some breakthrough this morning? Amen. Thank some, you, Jesus. Praise some, the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, God, I know you hear an answer our prayer. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Somewhere, some blood pressure is coming down. Yes, God, you are restoring 
praising somebody this morning. Yes, God, you are rejuvenating kidneys this morning. Oh, yes, Lord. You are removing plaque from arteries this morning uh -huh. and uh, freeing up some person's heart. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, you are dissolving those plaques. You are removing blood clots. Yes, Lord. Somewhere in somebody. Yes, God. You are taming some infection in the body of somebody this morning. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, you are destroying viruses and bacteria. Somebody this morning whose faith has been weak. Yes. You are strengthening those faith this morning. Yes, God, you are troubling the water somewhere and somebody is stepping in and receiving that healing. Yes, God, yes. somebody this morning has touched yes. the hem of your garment. You have felt virtue going uh, out of you. Somebody is experiencing that healing this morning. Yes, Lord. Mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Yes, Lord. Just be with the children and the wife of Henry Moxie. Draw close to you, God, and even in these moments. Provide for their very need. God, you are that good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I just feel like hanging on a little longer. If you feel like praying, we're officially finished now. So if you feel like praying, I'm going to stop the recording. You just go ahead.